we're taking Kira on today. We're gonna head into London and have a little summer day in the city. As you can tell, it's the morning, it's about 6.50, and I feel like we just look really tired, which to be fair, I'm pretty tired. We did go to bed quite late, but we haven't been to London in a hot minute, so I thought we'd go today. We kind of need to get ourselves out of our comfort zone as well, because we don't always do stuff when it's really, really warm. As redheads, I can put a lot of the excuse of like, oh, I'm a redhead, I just stay in the same side and have in the shade. But it's not, it's not to do with that, is no, it? It's just, no, I just don't want to leave the house, can't before doing anything with my day. So it's, it's a bad excuse, really. And so I thought, you know what, we're going to bite the bullet and just go out and film a fun little London video. Yeah. Today we also want to maybe do a few touristy things. It'll be really fun. Basically our idea is to, it'll be really fun to get like touristy photos. As London girls, you don't get those London photos that everyone else gets when they come to London. And I'm like, we've been here our whole lives and we haven't yet to take a photo with a phone box or Big Ben. So what a dress cute and we'll go take some photos. So we're going to do that first and then we'll see where the day takes us. So yeah, it should be a fun day in the summer in the city in the city so we're gonna get ready we don't really do talk and get ready with me one because i feel like i could waffle for hours or i just want to sit here and just get ready quick you don't really head to london very often because i mean to be fair i don't know why because it's not even that far but like no. we just um i really panic myself we've just gone a bit sick of it we used to go all the time and in reality, we wouldn't actually do anything up there. We kind of just go to the parks. Yeah, like we would just walk around the parks and get, grab some food. Like we wouldn't actually make like a decent plan of like what to do. I think if anything, I haven't really done that as much of like the London stuff that you can do. Cause we're very nervous into like walk into like restaurants. So. No, I don't know, I've just always kind of felt like a bit out of place. But we're gonna try and change that mindset. I mean, we've been trying for years. Um, and I think we definitely have gotten better. But the thing is, I think the thing that helps us is just getting up early and going early in the day because London yes. can get really busy. And I think also one of the reasons why I don't always love going to London is because of the busy and how busy it can get. And obviously, if it's hot as well, it doesn't help because I get really overwhelmed. So for us, we just we know that we like it in the morning. But recently, I think we've just not been getting up as early as we would like to. Got, I think we've got a decent plan. And I think as us like anxious people, I feel like having a plan is also really helpful. We've always planned every video. We've always planned every time we've gone out. I wouldn't be able to sleep otherwise because I'd just be mm. nervous about like what we're doing. It's weird because like most of the time I don't really know what to plan, but like I know that doing some sort of like we're gonna go this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this helps. I think also if you are trying to like get out of the house more, I think having a good plan of like I'm going to do this, I'm gonna do that. Because if we don't have a plan, we're not doing anything. I want to be like a bit more spontaneous. I think in certain realms of life, I think we are spontaneous. Yeah. Or like very like free will because I've always been like, like, wing it. Last year we kind of got ourselves in a good mindset when it came to like makeup and it did make me feel more confident. I feel like back in the day it used to not. Like I'll just do it and I didn't realise like the purpose of actually putting on makeup. I kind of just did it because like other people kind of tell yeah. you to do it and like you would be like filling your eyebrows and like that's because I saw other people do it and yeah. I was like oh we should probably do keep something. up with the trend here but at least now i feel like we're actually doing it because we actually want enjoy do doing the process and actually want to like enhance our features you see got to make sure you learn to love how you look naturally just the way you are you are beautiful inside and out and you're gonna take it out as a joke it, it's true but it's nice because i feel like we've learned that over the years yeah i think yeah. it does it does come with age i think yeah I am 22, so I feel like I'm, I'm a wise we've, old woman now. That's the thing, we've always been told we were very, I'm uh, very mature for my age. age. We're As very a young child, I was like, even mum was like, Look, really you're busy granny. granny. You've been told of them granny a few times. Granny vibes. Which, you know what, I'll take it, because I actually just, I think that's a good we vibe do what, to We do like our soft mints. Yeah, I do like my little Yeah. <laughs> Fudges. My little hard boiled sweet. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah and what? What you do about it? <laughs> Obviously, that's not really grandma traits, but you know, because they're type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, that I, I'm like be already becoming a mum, sort of, as well, with like, just all the stuff in the bag, I need hand sanitizers, I need tissues, yeah. I need like, you know how like, girls only have like, a, like a, a lip line and like a, their, their phone, and I'm like, I have all the, the little knickknacks, <laughs> knickknacks, what the hair bars I've got. I wish I could be like that, like just literally just bring Again, lip it kind of comes phone. under the anxiety of like, what about if this, this is the day that I need it? And also, I've just had a few accidents in my time. <laughs> I've spilt hot chocolate behind me one Isn't time. Isn't it funny how it's just you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> or panica. Even at home, you, you're the one that like drops all your green juice juice on your bed up there twice, two different occasions. Um, can't be personally. I'm not. You know how many bruises I have on me as well. Yeah. I just, I just. It's weird because I 
I don't know, think I was like a really, I didn't think I was clumsy, but then it's like, oh, I actually am, because I've, I, you know how many times I've knocked myself into doors? Well, my um, hair gets stuck on the door, yeah. the door handle. I mean, uh, to be fair, like, I, I think about falling over, like, every day. Oh, yeah, I, I, I wake up for, like, if I have a nightmare, it's always about, like, oh, I'm going to fall over, or, like, down yeah, the escalator. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> one of my dreams was literally I was getting chased, and I had to go through, um, the, basically, in our old house, we had a little, um, a little cat hole in the fence. There was, a, there was a hole for the cat, so we could go in and out of the house. I remember I had a dream where I was getting chased by a man, a really scary man, kind of like a Mike Myers sort of vibe, and I was getting chased, and I ended up, I was like, well, I don't have time to get my keys because you're in movies <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going running around the corner and I ended up like, I don't know how, squeezing myself through it. Do you think I could squeeze through a little hole that's made for a cat when they can move all their bones like this? No. No. But you did well, it. I did it anyway. We watched a podcast like a few weeks ago and they were talking about how it's so funny how nightmares you're scaring yourself. Yeah. And even though you're the one dreaming it, you should know that you're going to about to scare yourself. Yeah, yeah. You how don't. many times I've done it though? I think I've had that dream like twice or three times. I've had the, the, you're the same. You're scaring yourself one. without even realising. To like, be fair, we, I could actually talk about dreams for a long time because I've had a few weird ones. I love I've also love the mindset and like just the brain and like I've psychology also, behind like dreaming. Yeah, we're always interested in like the brain and stuff. Like that's just so interesting, interesting to me. How people think. Oh, you can just scare yourself without even like you you having a nightmare and then you, I I scare myself from like like I literally wake up like. <gasps> Yeah, I mean, I woke up one time and I thought there was a crocodile on my bed. Okay. Crazy, like, I literally woke up, thought I saw a crocodile, got terrified. Yeah. Um, I think I'm done. I had a... It's funny, because I had a dream today. You had a dream? About, um, I don't know where we were, but I don't know if it was just me or just... I don't know where it was. You know how dreams you don't, like, always remember, but I remember basically, like, someone had let all the zoo animals out. <laughs> Why do you always dream about animals? <laughs> I don't know. There's a crocodile. Some zebras, zebras, zebra, 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 and again a weird, 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 weird dream. I don't know, but I, I only saw like a, a crocodile and a zebra, and like it's funny because like, crocodiles would eat zebras. What? Oh yeah, they would eat them. Yeah. yeah I'm done. Oh, so I'm just my jaw is still in your concealer. Yeah. So I'm just. So I'm saying I could be here all day. I can tell. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to be here all day. Don't want to come out. You purposely just keep rambling just so you see don't go out. Really? Is this why we wake up early? So we can leave early. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna be quick on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> talk about your dreams, Kevin. Uh, I don't have any dreams. Okay, talk about the dreams that I've had. Um, Actually, no, I've had I had a dream about my teeth falling out, dreaming about snake skin, which I can't go into more because it kind of relates to life, like my life. Yeah, that's when it's weird, like about like a problem I had at that time, and it, it was weird because it was if you look look up snakes dreaming about snake skin and like having yeah like i was so vivid um it talks about like a new life or like a new beginning sort of thing like showing off obviously yeah. skin again very weird very weird like it, was very rela- it was very related to what was happening you, at the time i don't time. think you watched anything to do with like with snakes snakes but it was very and the whole story i was like what the hell there's, honestly like, dreams are crazy i think if anything i should need to make sure i try and i mean um, recently i've been trying to write, write them down because yeah. i do think it's interesting i've got yeah just teeth fun. for me it's just the um, i get teeth very um i think about my teeth falling out yeah. and breaking and that's also a lot of anxiety like if you read it up online it's about anxiety and like yeah i mean i do naturally also we both naturally clench our jaws yeah well. i'm very I'm clenchy like, and i'm very protected over my teeth yeah I'm very um scared about them Falling out, falling out, breaking. Yeah. Uh, lip liner. All makeup is done. And we're ready to fry the day. Fry the day. Yay. It's just like, try- it feels like you just try to put like all the Gen Z like language in. Thrive. Thrive, yeah. I'm just trying to sound better. All packed up with our essentials, looking good, and off we went. where you can see the London Eye and Big Ben in all its glory and get all those touristy photos that you want as a London girl or a tourist coming to London for the first time. So after that we did swiftly move on to St James's Park and out of coincidence we ended up filming the poster saying there was a parade going on next month and ended up filming the rehearsal for it so that's quite funny. 
decided then just to have a nice little stroll around St James's Park. It's one of our favourite things to do really, is just walk around parks and people watch and maybe go get a bit of lunch, which, which we ended up doing and just sitting there having good vibes, soaking in all the, all the nature that the London parks have to offer. <music> Until it was time to swiftly move on to Battersea Power Station. We had been here last autumn and we had a great time, so we had to hit up the photo booth once again. Since this is obviously one of the last few vintage analog black and white photo booths in the world, so you can't say no to it really. They always turn out great, I love the photos every time, so if you do want to do it, do come to London, I do recommend doing the photo booth. <laughs> fashion we also then did do a little bit of exploring around Batsy once again and again just soaked in the good vibes and hoped that we didn't get burnt but then I think we did end up getting heat strokes we we thought you know what this adventure is no longer fun so we're gonna head home and so that's what we did mm -hmm. 